soft fur, pointy hands, and fluffy tails. The youngest was white. The second was black. Holla! And the third one was gray. Hey. One day, the mother's mother called her children around her and said, My children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves. But beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, Mama. We'll look out for him. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember those classic those fantastic, those unforgettable fairy tales that you learned when you were all children. I know all of you forget those classic, those unforgettable, those fantastic fairy tales that I learned when I was a child. Such fairy tales as Goldie Lurks and the Three Stairs. That's Goldilocks and the Three Bears. What? Yep. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> but anyway, there's always the unforgettable Little Red Robin Hood. That's Little Red Riding Hood. Are you kidding me? Nope. So, Five years, I've learned it this way, and it's, okay, never mind. Oh, Juan and the Cornstalk. Do you actually know any childhood fairy tales? Of course I do. Name one. I can name several, actually. Waiting. Um. Still waiting. Oh, The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Oh, just shoot me now. The, the Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig by Eugene Trivisaz. Soon, the Three Little Wolves met a kangaroo pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Can we have some of your bricks? Firmly. So the kangaroo gave them lots and lots of red and yellow bricks. And the Three Little Wolves built themselves a house made out of bricks.
the three little wolves saw the pig coming and ran inside and shut the door. <coughs> and locked all 37 padlocks. <coughs> the pig dialed the video entrance door. Chinny chin chins. We will not let you come in. Not for all the tea leaves, not trying to pop. Boo! Boo! Get all up! Get all up! Get all up! No! We got to stop! So the pig huffed and he puffed. <laughs> singing and dancing. The three little wolves were afraid that this might have been a trick, but they soon realized that the pig really had changed, and they ran out and joined him. They started playing games with him, like piggy pong. And piggy in the middle. When they all got tired, they invited the pig inside for some tea, strawberries, and wolfberries. They invited the pig to stay for as long as he wanted. The pig accepted, and... And they lived happily. And they lived happily together 